Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You get a course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler B, series B's I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm gonna talk about stuff. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, tell me I'm doing this, folks, I'm not gonna lie. I actually made a trip out to Chicago for this one. So hopefully they're good. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to around about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for your day, folks? Well, it happens to be my, boom, my Stellar Circuit shirt. What the fuck is Stellar Circuits? Uh, Stellar Circuits are a super badass band out of North Carolina. I have been... Uh, a big fan of theirs for, you know, a number of years now. I actually ran into them as just a Facebook ad type of thing, but I ended up really liking their stuff. And then, you know, I've been fortunate enough now, almost every time that they've come through Illinois, I've been able to get out, see them live. I love getting to see them. That's actually what I'm doing out in Chicago today. Uh, I like these guys so much. Not only have I picked up merch, I've actually got videos of every time that I've seen them, they're on this channel as well. They are a super badass band. Like, I cannot say enough nice things about these guys. Like, musically, they're awesome. On a personal level, they have been extremely gracious and kind in every interaction I've ever had with them. They are top-quality people. I'm very excited to be seeing them again. Uh, but, yeah. So, and if anything else, if you'd happen to be interested in their stuff at all, I'd be more than happy to point you in their direction. I think they're really good. But yeah, so since I was making my trip out to Chicago to go see them, I decided, all right, I'm going to stop off at some places, right? Because you got to. It's what I do with the video. So where did I go? What am I reviewing, folks? Well, I headed out to a place called, boom, Best Submarine, and then it's the number two location, I guess, uh, because I review sub sandwiches. I review sub sandwiches so much that I actually have to preface this with three things real quick. Number one, for over two years now, I've been going on sub sandwich adventures. And what that means is I've been going out to basically every place available that sells sub sandwiches, be it chain locations, um, Walmart, the break room at my work, any place that sells sub sandwiches. I'm trying them. I'm reviewing them. I'm posting them to my YouTube channel. And that kind of ties into the second thing, because not only do I post them just to my YouTube channel, I'm such a nice guy. I go over there, I actually post them to a specific playlist called Subs for Subs. So, if you like my sub sandwich reviews, first of all, thank you very much. Secondly, they're all right there. You literally can just go down that list. At the time I'm doing this, I have over 100 sub sandwich reviews. But that ties in number three, because maybe even that's not enough. Maybe you're greedy for sub sandwich goodness. All you have to do, folks, is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub day. That's the day when I go over there and upload my sub sandwich reviews. So every Sunday, you're going to get at least one sub sandwich review. I try to do at least two, but then, you know, sometimes I'm just running a little bit low in the, in the backlog. So as I was making my way, I was kind of plotting out, you know, where the venue was versus places. Saw this place. I was like, boom, let's get it in. So what am I reviewing from Best Submarine? Well, folks, y'all know me if you've been doing this channel or if you've been watching these uh, reviews long enough. I had to get in a, boom, it's a roast beef sub. So, first of all, let's get a little thing for the thing. It looks like that. <laughs> Options. Um, I mean, it's, it's a roast beef sub. It looks like there's tomato, tomato lettuce, onion, uh, and then some roast beef. And that sounds like a great thing. I, I'm hoping for good things. I'm a little bit here or there. Um... I reviewed a place, another place in Chicago months back called Chicago Submarine. This place gave me very similar vibes, like to the extent where I was like, I kind of feel like they might be owned by the same thing. But let's, uh, let's try out a roast beef sandwich. Yeah. That's not great. That is, uh, that's really not great. 
I mean, you guys saw me. I was struggling to chew through it. Thing is, I love a roast beef sub. I love it because it's simple and it's beautiful in its simplicity. There's nowhere to hide on it. If you're not doing it the right way, it's never going to turn out right. There's nowhere to, you know, there's no way to razzle dazzle it up. Um, yeah, I mean, you can just tell, like, that's not great roast beef. It's definitely, it's, it's not great. Uh, it's maybe not the worst I've had in doing these reviews, but it's not very good. It's chewy, and I had to kind of tear through it, and then the flavor, I'll give it this, it is flavorful, but the flavor itself is not great roast beef flavor. Yeah, it is. And they did the same thing that Chicago Sub did. I'm certain that they're owned by, like, the same person. The one highlight to this is that they toasted the Sub bread. So, the Sub bread actually has a really nice flavor to it. That is the best part of this. The rest of it, like I said, that beef... Extremely underwhelming. Uh, you know, the, the mayo and stuff, it's fine, it's passable. The rest of the veg, yeah, it, it's, it's a very, it's a very kind of bargain basement sub, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that's just not great. Um, so, I mean, and here's the thing. I try not to go into any of these reviews with too much of, like, a perception. Because, you know, I don't know. Until I get the product and I get to try it, I'm just going off whatever. But that doesn't mean that I don't get vibes. That doesn't mean that, you know, I can't kind of, again, associate with other places. And, you know, this place, they call themselves Best Subs. But, like, maybe 20% of their menu is sub stuff, and then the rest is everything else. And when you're a sub place, be a sub place. And then even on top of that, they didn't have half the subs that were on their menu. <laughs> I originally wanted to get a barbecue uh, barbecue beef sub. They're like, no, we don't have that. I was like, it's on your menu. And they're like, mm. And I do want to mention the guy who ran the place, like, he was very nice. Like, you know, I'm not trying to shit on him or anything. He did his job. He was working by himself. I, I, you know, but at the end of the day, I have to talk about the sub. That's what this comes down to. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No and no. It is not, again, it's not the worst roast beef sub I've had. It's not like terrible, terrible. But if you're not using really solid ingredients in a roast beef sub you're going to end up with a subpar roast beef sub, and that's exactly what I got with this. Again, not horrible, but it's, I can't, there's no, the only thing I can give it points for is toasting the sub bread. That's it. The rest of it was at best extremely kind of bare bones, and like overall it just was very, mm, you know, and a sub should never be, mm, it should always be a special thing. Um, and if I'm recommending it, I mean, when I reviewed Chicago Submarine, I had somebody in my comments who went over there and criticized the way I dealt with it because you're like, oh, you know, blah, 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 you're from the suburbs and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm from the suburbs and everything like that, but I don't think that fucking changes how good food tastes. And at the end of the day, you know, with a place like this, it's like, I'm not saying it doesn't provide a service. And like I said, they had a lot of stuff on their menu, but I'm talking about a sub sandwich. And the fact of the matter is, I would not recommend anybody go here for a sub sandwich. Maybe for other items on their menu, they have, you know, hot dogs, pizza puffs, like standard Chicago fare. But you're calling yourself best subs? I want a really good sub. That's what I want. What I got was a, ooh, I mean, I'm going to be nice and call it a C minus sub. You know, probably a little bit closer to like a D plus. It's, it's passable. I don't think it's going to make me ill or anything like that. But yeah, and as a result, I really can't recommend it. 
which sucks. I always like to recommend stuff. But, um, anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. Folks, go with your have yourselves a truly proper roast beef sub -tastic rest of your life. Because, again, proper roast beef is really good. Oh, and by the way, because this is a Illinois location, you know, it's like an Illinois establishment, it's also going to end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist. So, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Um, I mean, folks, you know, I, I hate to be negative in any of my reviews. I always like to be positive whenever possible. And, you know, sometimes I just, I can't. But... I will say this, always try to support the things that you love and that matter to you. Like I said, I'm supporting Stellar Circuits. Uh, I also want to mention, I have my ring here. This is my Society One ring. They're a band out of California who have been at it for fucking decades now. Really like them. I also have my bracelet on. This is done by a friend of mine named China McCoy, who's a stuntman, actor, super badass, and he also makes these as a side hustle. And, uh, you know, if you happen to be interested in any of these, by the way, hit me up in the comments section. I can direct you to their Instagram page, you know, and you can try to work it out. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, so I, even though I don't get to be super positive on this one, try to end off on a good note. Bye.